we go then. Race to the king. We have started. Bit of a miserable overcast day, but really good for running. And here we are at Glorious Goodwood. What a place to start. Didn't expect so much woods in the first half. Well, the run's going fine. It's just this uh, Insta360 camera that's giving me the grief. Can't get the uh, the selfie stick out. It keeps locking in all the time, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, perfect running weather. I mean, not great for views, as you can see, but we love it like this. That's long distance runners, don't we? So yeah, all good. Oh yeah, look at that. Mile counter, mile 12 coming up. Fantastic scenery. Stunning that we're going through the woods so much. But yeah. Morning. Morning, hi. Pit stop two coming up here, look. Woo! Exciting ride. <laughs> oh, what's that? 14 miles? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Nice. Banana, I think, this one. Hello! Look at the size of that banana. It's the biggest banana I've ever seen. Now pit stop too good. A lot better through that one. Nice and quick. So on my way. Beautiful day, really lovely. Couldn't have asked for better conditions and all the other stuff that runners say. <laughs> but I love running through the woods. Look at them. Oh, keep forgetting I've got a 360 camera, I don't have to point it anywhere. It'll point wherever it wants. Yeah. Ooh. What's that? 17 miles in. Oh, good. More stunning views along the South Downs Way. Fantastic. Very mixed route, you know. If you just think it's going to be along the chalk path all the way on the South Downs Way, think again. We've done lots of uh, forestry sections. In fact, probably all my filming has been through them. But there are some, obviously. But it's not all on the chalk. It's all that as well. So yeah, lovely, really enjoying it. And the ants keep marching down the path. 
they look like ants, don't they? Down the path and up the hills. Now, is this a good idea being up here? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not a good idea to film again. Say the same thing that people probably will say on running videos as well. The video will not do it justice. I feel like I'm on top of the world here. Obviously come up some big steep hills, much steeper than I've done in training, but all the glute strength exercises that I've done have uh, seen me right. So we're all good. Some really speedy mountain bikers. Oh, there's another one. They got around. I keep seeing people on the side of the path thinking they're famous, but they're not famous. Just my brain keeps thinking that they are, so weird. But, and I know he wouldn't think he's famous. I definitely saw Ben Parks earlier. The guy ran past me, sounded like him, looked like him, had a Ben Parks hat on, and I said, are you Ben Parks? And he said, no mate, I've just borrowed his hat. I wish I could run like him. He definitely was him. I think that's what started it off. Maybe from then on, I thought everybody was well known. Lots of road in the last couple of hours. Which is a couple of hours, a couple of miles. Which after being in stunning scenery, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But, 25, I think 25. Yeah, 25 miles in now. Looking forward to meeting up with my family in about five miles time at the Queen's Country Park. My son is going to run with me for a little section. So that'd be good. It's the woods. Got to get the camera out in the woods, right? Starting to hurt now. There you go, I've admitted it. 29 miles in. Going up a very steep wooden hill. The woods are beautiful. But this is a steep one. Ooh. Going up to 30 miles. Start to feel tired. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it'll pass. Still running, but still going forward. That's all that matters today. Just keep moving forward. A lot of respect for people they could do 100 miles and nowhere near that. I might not even be near 54. But there you go. Some doubt coming in. That's not like me. Got to keep it going. There he is, the main man Jack B. Oh, hello. Joining me for a little bit of the. Uh, a little bit of the course after 30 miles. Don't know how much actual running we'll do together, but here we are, look, what a start. This is the famous Butzer Hill, apparently. It looks a bit nasty, <laughs> I must admit. Ooh. I've been looking at a few hills today, and uh, yeah, okay. Let's see how we got on. Nasty, nasty Butzer Hill. Blimey. Nothing really else to say about that, but the view is amazing. Really nice house. We're a big fan of that one, Jack, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, 
Lovely. Yeah, starting to struggle now. 35 miles in. Glad Jack's here with me to give me some moral support for a couple of miles. Got a couple of miles left with him and then it's slog on to Winchester. Gonna uh, pick up a head torch, I think. I'm meeting up my dad. And then just in case, I mean, I should be all right. But uh, seem to be slowing down now, walking a lot more, which is expected when you've never run this far. Actually, officially in half, half a mile, I've never run this far. So there you go. So yeah, nice house, all good. Do you mind if I do a bit to camera while I'm talking, yeah, walking course, along? Of course, yeah. What's your name? Ian. Ian. Cool, right. <laughs> Hello there, mate. You're right. Hi. Well, I found a walking buddy. <laughs> Ian is also struggling, and we've, it's been great to, to spend some time with another person who's uh, not running past me all the time and uh, making me feel very unfit. <laughs> but. Uh, no, he's run a few ultra marathons before and the training hasn't gone 100% how you wanted it to go, right? No, definitely not. No. No training. So, uh, I'm gonna... It's getting difficult now. Obviously, not, never been this... Hello. Never been this distance before. But... I'm gonna get to the next pit stop, check my feet out and then give some running a go. And then we've only got two pit stops to go anyway. Right. <laughs> 